Today I'll be talking about uh, my experience here as an international student um, on MSU's campus and also I've had a chance to study abroad so I'll be touching on that as well. So um, this is a basic overview of um, what I'll be talking about. So as you can see uh, my title was the International Student Metamorphosis. So usually when you think of metamorphosis I know you think of a butterfly and um, I would like to liken my story here at MSU um, like the life of a butterfly. So I believe I've gone through the four stages, which are um, the egg, lava and pupa and adult stage. So um, if you have any questions, um, just feel free to keep them at the end. Hopefully my story will be enlightening and something you enjoy. So. Um, why the butterfly? So, um, like I said before, the life cycle of a butterfly, a butterfly goes through four different uh, life stages. It starts off as an egg and goes uh, to the larva, where most people know it as a caterpillar. And then it goes to the pupa, where it forms the cocoon and uh, kind of hibernates for a bit. And then it metamorphosizes into a, a beautiful butterfly. So um, my story, um, I'm an international student. I'm the oldest of four children. Uh, all my family is back home. So I was the first person uh, in my family to come to the United States. So that was a bit scary and overwhelming. Um, I went to an all girls high school. So um, at this high school, we were taught uh, a lot of uh, valuing education and just being um, hard workers. Uh, like I said, I've gone to uh, study abroad. I studied abroad in the UK. And also one thing I've uh, managed to do is I've taken a friend home with me and uh, she had never been outside the United States. So I got to take someone for a study abroad experience. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, the egg stage, which uh, I would call my freshman year. So, um, when I looked up uh, the definition of an egg online, it says um, it's an uh, organic vessel in which an embryo develops. So I would like to call my freshman year my organic vessel in which uh, I, got, I was still a baby and uh, I tried out many different things, but I was still unsure. I was still young at heart, young in mind, and. Um, just uh, trying to grow and find people to nurture me uh, so I could hatch into a beautiful embryo. So uh, during my freshman year, um, obviously MSU was uh, somewhere I wanted to be, so uh, it was really exciting to be on campus, but it was also difficult to be far away from home and knowing that I couldn't just go home when I wanted to, like, especially when other people would go home for uh, different uh, breaks. So, uh, but it was a lot of uh, good cultural experience. Um, it broke, it helped me to break a lot of stereotypes uh, of Americans, of uh, different um, people I came into contact with. And I think I also helped to break a lot of uh, like African stereotypes. And then, um, so this was uh, a few of the things I got to do my freshman year. Obviously, experiencing snow for the first time was exciting. And um, just one of the things I treasure here is uh, just being African. So always um, celebrating who I am with uh, my friends who have the same value or uh, different people who have an interest in Africa. So I'm inquisitive, so I always like to do new but scary things. So, <laughs> so, uh, so that was my life uh, in the egg stage of my MSU uh, career. So uh, my pupa stage. Uh, normally, uh, when you think of uh, metamorphosizing, you think of a caterpillar. But uh, a caterpillar is a bit awkward. It uh, has many legs. Um, it's just awkward, and not many people um, like caterpillars, uh, they tend to squish them or uh, throw them away. So um, 
during this stage of my life, I would liken myself to a caterpillar because this was the stage. Um, I had hatched, uh, I had found out the many different things I could uh, do on campus, but I was still awkward, um, still trying to fit in, uh, trying new things and sometimes leaving them in the middle because um, I just didn't feel like I uh, f uh, fitted into the, into the environment. I also did a lot of traveling with my many caterpillar legs. So um, <laughs> that's, when, <laughs> that's when I went on my study abroad to the UK and uh, managed to do a lot of um, discovering who I was and um, just uh, having a better sense of uh, who I was. And one of the things I did my sophomore year uh, during this phase of my life was I started working as an intercultural aide in the residence halls, uh, which um, helped me, I guess, also walk different paths in, in, in a sense that I met many different people and they were able to share with me their stories and through their stories I also liked walked with them in their in their different lives and this is me at Big Ben and in Edinburgh so my study abroad experience was um, I the reason I did it was strategic uh, because I needed to get my uh, university credits out of the way so I just did three I took 11 credits on my study abroad which was a lot uh, for a study abroad of one month. But um, I went in uh, with uh, no real um, expectations but to get my work done, but I definitely got more than I bargained. I met uh, a lot of amazing people and uh, managed to see some of my family who live in the UK. So that was an amazing experience just to get a feel of what it's like to be away from home and have family in in the same country that you can actually visit. So that was a wonderful uh, time. And moving on to the next stage. So um, the pupa stage. Um, the pupa stage, this is when uh, the caterpillar uh, gets ready to metamorphosize. And uh, as we know, uh, it's in its cocoon. So um, during my junior year, I was voluntarily and involuntarily in a cocoon because uh, that's when my studies got more challenging. So my chemical engineering, I was solely taking chemical engineering classes. So I lived in the engineering building, um, worked in the engineering building. So I secluded myself uh, involuntarily. And then um, on a voluntary basis, um, I just uh, stopped uh, I tried to take a step back and just uh, think of what I am interested in. And um, this was when I just spent a lot of time in my room doing homework, just trying to discover who I was as a person. And then um, the adult stage. Right now I'm in the adult stage of my metamorphosis. <laughs> and um, my se this is my senior year. I'll be graduating in May. So, so far I've uh, had an opportunity to do many different things. Um, I've been on the homecoming court and I was selected to be a participant for the president's report in which uh, I have a person following me in the back there. <laughs> and, and he, um, while well, they're taking videos of uh, just MSU students, their daily lives so that President Simon can present on this uh, next semester. So I think uh, this year, um, I feel I'm in a stage where I know who I am and I'm ready for the working world and hopefully I'll be ready to spread my butterfly wings and fly. And yeah, that is it. <laughs>